Colonel Richard Tolliver, Air Force retired. I'm the president of the Orchard Ragsdale, Arizona chapter here, uh, Tuskegee Airmen, Inc. Oh boy, that's an easy question. I would love to be flying these airplanes today as I was blessed to fly them 45 years ago. I came to Luke 45 years ago, 46 years ago, flying the brand new F-15. I was part of the test team that came here and I can tell you it was the height of our flying career in those days to be selected to fly the world's greatest fighter, and that's what it was in those days. And there we were on the cutting edge of the air superiority fighter, the F-15, 46 years ago. When I see the airplanes taking off, like the F-35, and of course the F-16 before that, I experienced what these young people are experiencing, and I experienced it almost a half century ago. So when I see it and I hear it, I know that they have been given the greatest equipment in the world, the technology that we have today that gives them the capability to assimilate information, to process that information, and to bring the full brunt of the capability into what they do in these airframes that they've got today. It's basically a war fighting machine with an incredible capability and these young men and the young women today, by the way, young women today, because 40 years ago, young women weren't flying fighters. I happen to be a father of four daughters, and I see women doing what they're doing today, and I'm so thankful for that. But I see women, men and women today, a part of the mix of what we have today, uh, operating these machines and being part of our force that we have in defense of our nation. Aviation became the premier capability of a nation back during World War II. But it goes all the way back to World War I. And between World War I and World War II, it was floundering and so forth. And then when the war started for us as a nation in 1941, we were not prepared. But then we had to mobilize, we had to hurry up and get our capability. And the most amazing thing was the mobilization effort of our nation back during World War II. Airplanes were had been designed and they were rapidly put together and they were created and, and built together. And by the time the war was over, the major force of our nation was the Air Force. And then, of course, we, after the war ended, the air power was growing in its capability and in its awareness. And then, of course, in 1947, we became of that, we became a separate service in the United States Air Force. In 1947, as a result of what had happened, during World War II and the projected future of our country was going to be uh, held uh, based on our ability to have the air power that was second to none. And we've been able to do that now for almost 80 years.